That's it. Sora 2 is shutting down. OpenAI is halting the rollout of its highly anticipated video generator, Sora 2. I'm sure there will be lawsuits. Maybe they want the lawsuits. I'm sorry, we screwed up. I'm sorry. Well, no, don't worry. It's not shutting down. I think they're just getting started. But they have nerfed the heck out of Sora 2 as of October 6, 2025. We had a fun run with Sora for the last couple of days. Wait, the voice is actually good. What? Wait, the voice is good. That's scary. That turned out nice. I think that's the one. Love it. Maybe I'll send it to I, right, I hate this. I, I think everyone on the internet now knows about Sora 2, but now it's time to say goodbye to all the IP ripoffs we saw. We saw a lot of SpongeBob, Rick and Morty, Michael Jackson, Disney characters, Minecraft, and more. No big deal. He, he said, I'm just making personalized videos on Sora with my favorite copyrighted characters owned by Disney and Amazon slash Netflix featuring an identifiable actress who is definitely not getting paid for this. Now, Sora and OpenAI has taken a step back and added a bunch of guardrails so people can't use any other intellectual property in their videos. All of this just made me think of how genius of a marketing idea this was. We tricked you. This was just a marketing trick. OpenAI for sure knew about the issues that will arise from letting people go wild with their video generative model, using all sorts of celebrities, known characters from movies, video games, in their videos that were going viral on TikTok, YouTube, and everywhere else. Uh, hi, this is Michael Jackson. I need to report a crime. Sir, what kind of crime are we talking about? A smooth criminal. Where is the suspect now? Right here. It was me. I'm sorry. I, uh, I Stay on the line in. for a moment. So in a way, I think it was a genius idea to get this model out there, available for everyone, and then just rug pull it by day three. What else is interesting and smart from their part is that they made the Sora app, which is like a clone to TikTok, but it's just the content that you make with Sora AI. Why did they do that? Well, I think when you have a social media platform, you have protections. You're not liable for what the user posts if you are the host, just like Facebook, YouTube, TikTok, and any other platform. This is basically the Digital Millennium Copyright Act law, AKA DMCA. This law protects online service providers from being held directly liable for copyright infringement by their users. If user upload, share, or access copyrighted material through Sora without authorization, Sora itself is not liable as long as it complies with the DMCA. Instead of suing Sora directly, copyright owners must send a DMCA takedown notice to request removal of infringing content. They're just pretty much getting by by the technicality. This is interesting, right? Because they're the ones that gives us this model to generate these copyrighted IP into our content, but they're not held liable for doing that. I feel like we're gonna see a lot of interesting lawsuits happening soon because there are so many video generative models coming out every day and the guidelines and guardrails are so blurry for each one. But yeah, I must admit the first three days of Sora 2 was really fun, like really, really fun. And I think most people that had a chance to try it out will agree. Generating anything from any IP is just so fun. Even if you don't share it online, generating and watching the magic happen is addicting. But don't you worry, Sora 2 is still up and running. They actually just released Sora 2 Pro Plan. Users that have ChatGPT Plus subscription now can have access to Sora 2 Pro, which I believe let them generate higher quality videos you can also change the duration from 10 seconds to 15 seconds and much more but I personally think there's no reason to upgrade yet if you want to access Sora today you will still need an invite code I will be actually giving away a few Sora 2 invite codes in the comments below throughout this week so make sure to comment down below and check out the comments now and then in case the code appears. Also, if you have an invite code lying around, make sure to comment it down below so other people can access Sora 2 and check out this amazing tool. Also, if you want to access Sora 2 worldwide, you can just use a VPN like NordVPN. And also I have a full guide and my first thoughts video uh, down below in the description. Sora 2 is still amazing. Even when nerfed with the guardrails and protecting IPs, you can still generate amazing social media AI slop content, but also you can use yourself or make a cameo of yourself and put yourself in any place in the world doing whatever you want, whatever your imagination can come up with. All right, that's it for now. I just wanted to make a quick little video about where Sora 2 is heading, what has changed and my thoughts. Make sure to subscribe to this channel as I will be posting more videos about the latest AI tools and show them how you can use them to level up your businesses. Also, if you haven't seen my full guide and my first thoughts on Sora Sora 2, go and check out my previous video. Thank you so much for all the love and support you have given to this small channel. Make sure to stay creative and I will see you in the next video. Isn't simulation theory just God for nerds? <laughs>